when it's raining. Let me just begin to explain. All morning I sat in bed trying to figure out a good setting to put my camera on. Um, a lot of you suggest to shoot in manual mode if you're like a camera person. You know what I'm talking about. If not, you probably don't. Now Winnie's drinking her water. Excuse her in the background. A lot of you have told me to shoot in manual mode, which I don't really like to do. I like to either shoot in like automatic. Then I was watching a bunch of videos this morning and they were all saying to shoot on like movie mode. So that's what I'm in right now. And like it looks clear, but I'm still having that problem that every time I turn on the camera, it's like fuzzy lines across my screen for like the first like five or ten seconds of the clip which is like super super annoying because vlogging you literally just take your camera out and point in, it's like a point and shoot camera like that's basically what vlogging is like you just when you start recording like that's the footage you want to use i'm wondering if it's because it's like maybe a few years old if i like if it's time for a new camera if like these cameras go bad after a while like i really don't know and i'm trying to look into it but so many there's so many videos obviously out there online and everyone like says to do different things so i have no idea with all that set aside good morning welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rachel if you are new today is a weekend in my life basically just vlog every day of my life at this point so here we are today is friday morning so i figured i would do friday saturday sunday um i'm going to dylan dylan's my boyfriend i live with him in raleigh if you're new his football season started so they play virginia tech this weekend so i'm actually going to be driving there and they're allowing a few fans in the stadium so i'm gonna meet his parents there and we're gonna watch him um, you have to wear masks like social distance from people so I'm gonna be driving there tomorrow But I thought I would just start the vlog off today. I have a lot to do this morning um, Like content wise some errands to run before I leave out of town for the night um, I found a new place for Winnie to go It's like a puppy play care place and uh, she's gonna get boarded overnight But it's not just like a regular kennel because I really didn't want to put her in that it's like a like she literally gets to run outside play there's like a pool there's like a turf area and then at night they obviously go into crates and stuff she actually went yesterday she was there for four hours and uh she ended up like passing her little exam they have to they have to be there for four hours to make sure they get along with the dogs and all of that and she ended up getting an a plus so she she did well and they said that she played with a lot of other dogs and stuff and honestly i might start bring her there maybe once or twice a week for like a few hours because she came home like so tired and it, it's made me sad since dylan and i have moved here that i took her away from like all of her cousins and like all the dogs back home so i think that this is going to be a really good option for her play with other dogs and stuff because she's not a dog who like growls at others or like barks at other dogs and stuff and like doesn't really get along like she loves all all dogs so I think that this is a good place for her. So I'm glad that I've ended up finding somewhere. If you live in Raleigh, it's called Dog Diggity Daycare and it's great. I highly, highly recommend. I talked about this like literally forever ago, but Dylan just got this um reusable nespresso pod off of amazon i can link it for you guys uh we got the bigger size so this makes like a cup of coffee looks like this so this makes a full-size cup of coffee which is what dylan likes so he just bought actually i have you guys sitting on it he actually bought some ground coffee and then just like coffee beans from uh cost plus world market i think that's what it's called that's where i got the chairs and tables so we were just picking them up and he picked up some of these they have really cool groceries in that place like i've never noticed how cool their groceries are get for you guys it's actually really really nice to have this and not have to go through the pods so quickly because they are expensive i did end up ordering the smaller ones so we'll have an espresso one and then we'll have a full-size coffee one but today I'm just gonna use a pod because it's not here yet. You guys saw like one of the last vlogs. This was all the way full and we're already like halfway. So we definitely have a coffee problem, but this is my favorite, favorite pod of all times. It's just a 
double shot. It looks like this. This is what it's called, but if you're ever wondering like where my coffee cups are from, my straws, like my machine, my pods, like literally anything, I always have it linked on my Amazon shop page and then I always link that on every video. So definitely look in the description or check out my Amazon shop because it's always there. This is her report card they sent her home with it Dylan went to pick her up and it tells you like what dog she played with what type of dog they were who like her caretakers were for the day what she did if she had any timeouts like what she did today it says she ran laps and gave kisses <laughs> it's so freaking cute like are you kidding I, I want to put it on the refrigerator like a proud mom should I we have this I don't have any magnets but Winnie, your report card made the refrigerator. Oh my goodness. Also, what I say about picking up after yourself? Look at this mess. Last time I vlogged was before Winnie's haircut. I forgot. Okay, so she got her first haircut. And look, she literally looks like a full-grown dog now. Like, she is not a puppy anymore. And it makes me so sad. But she is so cute. Look at her. Oh my goodness. I think I took a little clip. I'll insert it right here of before and after. It's your last day with your puppy here. That is so sad. You're going to look so grown up. Winnie, look at you. You look like a different puppy. Look at how pretty you look. Are you so happy? Look at you. And you smell so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I like kept up with you guys in the comments about her um, haircut and like what to ask for. And a lot of you gave me a lot of good advice. So I just want to tell you in case you have a golden or are going to have a golden doodle soon about haircuts. So basically I just asked for the same inch all around and then they scissored her head and then did like around her eyes and stuff. So she got like a puppy cut, but they ended up having to go a little bit shorter than normal. So that's why she looks like really, really straight right now hopefully she'll curl back up again but she got kind of matted from her onesie because i like kept that on for like a week and a half straight because i was nervous about the stitches but now it's off because she's like all healed but anyways if they're matted they have to like cut them down extra but i'll insert the clip of her when i saw her for the first time and stuff because it was so cute and she got you got pumpkin spice shampoo you're so lucky you're so lucky <gasps> Do you like the What are you doing? What are you doing? Also, I buy all these toys for her and she just plays with Dylan's football socks, so that's great. Sit. Good. Yay! You got it! been a little bit i've been filming for a fall like styling video that i'm doing it's like one of my first styling videos and i didn't really realize how much like effort goes into it because i'm having i like just put together all the outfits that took me a little bit and then what was that <laughs> then you have to film like the try on portion and then the sit down and what you're gonna say all that so basically all i got to today <laughs> was like doing my outfits I set up this rack from Amazon. Let me shut this. It's literally pouring rain outside and I just had to take Winnie out. 
so that was fun but set this rack up from amazon you guys would have seen that earlier that's what i was doing this morning and then i did all the outfits put all that together and then i just filmed some like try on sections but i think i'm gonna wait to film the like sit down portion when i get back home maybe on sunday the video isn't due till monday it's with the new brand i'm working with i'm super excited about it and to show you guys some of these pieces but i really want the sit down portion to be like bright and stuff and it's i have like no i'm working with like no natural light because it's raining so hopefully on sunday it's not raining and i can get some like a good sit down portion i don't know we'll see i'm also wearing my outside slippers inside so that's not good i got her this new bed from at home so cute and she loves that keep it at the end of the bed sometimes i forget how long it takes to film stuff like and then i come out here and it's like so bright and like airy but when i turn on the camera it's just like not not doing it for me i have to get one of these for her They're kind of scary <laughs> let's see this is kind of cute kind of scary Nature's recipe is the one I get. Let's see. Here we go. Let's do I think she's still on puppy for a little bit longer. I think, I don't know. Mommy got you a prize. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's really fun. I got you two. Oh. It's your first Halloween ever. Your first Halloween. Oh. Look at my mama got you. Do you like them? They're so fun. Here, they're for you. I bought them just for you. There you go. You go, you can have it. She's like always scared of new stuff. I don't know why she's like such a scaredy cat. Knew you would like it. I knew you would like the candy corn. <laughs> I knew it. I just made some homemade guac for myself. I already had some salsa made in the fridge. Just doing some stuff on my computer and hanging out with Winnie. And just kind of picked up the apartment minus like the filming. So I need to get all that together. I feel like whenever I film, things literally get to be such a mess. Like the whole apartment gets to be a mess. And I'm like, how did that even happen? Like I'm filming one video and the whole apartment is out of whack. So I don't know. If you make YouTube videos, you know what I mean. Or if you film things, like it takes so much longer than you would think to film a sit down video. If it's like multiple things to film. So I picked out just for you. I knew you would like it. I knew it. You look like a candy corn. Hey, you look like candy corn. Do you want to be candy corn for Halloween? Do you? Do you, do you? Yes, okay, I'll buy it for you.
everything all packed up. I am going to the Virginia Tech NC State football game this weekend. Dylan's already there. He's playing tonight at 8 o'clock. So I'm meeting his parents there. It's a three hour drive for me, so it's honestly not that bad. I'm gonna stay in the hotel tonight with this family and just drive back in the morning though, just because it's an eight o'clock game. I would literally get home at like three in the morning. Just got my little suitcase. This has like my purse and jacket and all that in there. And then Winnie is being dropped off. Excuse the non-made bed, I need to clean the sheets so it's just like pointless. I'm dropping Winnie off at daycare. She's gonna stay overnight for the first time, I'm kinda sad. What's going on? Car ride ahead. I need to stop at Publix to get some drinks for tailgating and then I need to get a coffee, hit the road. I am using this aloe bag for the first time. You guys, it's so good. I can fit literally, let me show you. I just have like, you know when you're packing you have all those like loose end items. Like I literally forgot to put my bra on, my suitcase, my bag some snacks for the car just like stuff like that this is a great 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 travel bag for that so i can link this for you guys it's so good winnie are you excited you go to daycare hang on hi all right sorry i'm a little late i said i was going to be here at 10 it's for winnie um and she's going to be staying overnight just for one night okay good night let's go and then i have her food and stuff And then do I just play when I pick her up? Or? Yes, okay. you can't pick her up. And then what's the last name? It's Racky. Racky. All right. Thank you. Bye, baby. I love you. Have fun. Oh, go back to Texas. Go, go, go. Oh, it makes me sad. My self-tanner made me look orange. It's okay. Of course, when I pull out the wrong direction, the map start to work. Starting route to 650 <gasps> University City Boulevard. Oh, dear God. Right there. See her? That's the one right there. <laughs> At the light, turn about. left onto Mevin Oaks Road. Pumpkin cream cold brew. When they get rid of it, I feel like I'm gonna be actually sad. Like when the seasons change to, I mean, I love the Christmas drinks, don't get me wrong, but when they change out of the pumpkin cream, I'm gonna be In so upset. In 800 feet, turn left to merge onto I-40 West. You know? or My name's Kellen. I'm Dylan's little brother. Um, I go to Georgia State University. <laughs> right he's now. not. He's not single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not single. I do. I have a beautiful girlfriend. Oh, that's um, nice of you. About to go to the uh, NC State Virginia Tech game um, to watch Dylan. Yep. This is the best drink. <laughs> All right, there we go. Busies, if you haven't tried. 10 out of 10. Stop <laughs> loud. I feel like Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> if we lose, it's your fault. The it's white your vehicle. Fault. No, Look at the white vehicle. Yeah. I know oh, perfect Jesus. placement. So I have perfect. no idea. We'll see. It's like a delivery golf cart that they need to open in Athens. That's how Dylan's going to make money. How? Uber. Something smells. Yeah, I just put on some perfume. Oh, sorry. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I forgot my body spray. I need to smell good, okay? International. I, 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 I think. No. No, they were able, I'm telling you, there's six. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Cal? <laughs> Rally cap season. Oh. Yeah, Cal, I haven't been to a state game so long. I just tried to do the wolf pack and I went like this. Boom! <laughs> <laughs>
state. We just lost <laughs> by about 948 points, yeah, it we felt got, like. we got smacked. The game was about six hours long. Um, Wait, it's not in focus. Okay, now it is. Currently uh, waiting for Taco, at Taco Bell. Bell. It's the only place open in Blacksburg, Virginia. <laughs> okay, um, for some reason, all these fast food places, you guys close at like 10 o'clock, I guess. Like, I thought McDonald's was open 24 7. Usually, some, well, yeah. not all of them, but most, some of them are, but usually they're open to like 2 a.m. We got to see Dylan after the game for a second. He had to go take the bus back home, but I thought it wasn't probably a good time to pull out the camera. Yeah, no, definitely wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't in a good mood, obviously, so. It hurts that, whenever you get, lose by 30. It hurts. Yeah, so. And. I want to come back when there's full capacity and it's a night game, not against a team I like. Yeah, because we really liked the stadium. It was really pretty. But also, a lot of you guys who watched the videos and follow me on Instagram reached out and said that you go to school here and that, like, gave some really good, like, recommendations for bars and restaurants. We obviously didn't have any time for that, but maybe one day when we come back, we could, like, maybe you could, you'll be 21 and we could go, like, and COVID won't exist. <laughs> Don't feel good? I know, sweet. Good morning, everyone. It is about two days later since I vlogged. It's Monday morning. Sunday, yesterday, I just got home and we just relaxed. Dylan and I on the couch, we did literally nothing. So I wasn't vlogging, but I wanted to pick up the camera again on Monday, show you guys kind of what I'm doing today to get started for the week. This is actually kind of like a busier Monday than I normally would have. I have a video due today for a brand that I have to still shoot the video for because the beginning of this vlog I was actually trying to film it and it didn't end up working out so I have to film that video today so I just kind of did my hair and then I need to go take photos for the brand so I'm gonna try to go somewhere like some type of like rooftop deck or something to take some photos later but I'm gonna put some chili in the crock pot Dylan and I just got a crock pot so this. love soups like it's like the easiest thing I feel like to put in, it sits there all day. So like today I'm busy and we don't, we normally have HelloFresh, but we don't. Okay, that's great. It's literally like just so easy. Um, my mom always would make chili for us during the fall and we would have it literally all the time. So one of our favorite things. So I'm just gonna brown the meat a little bit. That's literally all I do for prep and then the rest is crock pot. I just got this crock, am I okay today? No. I just got this crock pot from Target but I know they have it on Amazon, I'll link the same one. And I really like it because the like holders for the lid, if I can even figure out how to do it. And I just like how it's all black and clean, I don't know. Chili recipe, I'll put it down in the description. I don't really go by measurements, I kinda just go by cans but I got all of these canned beans and tomatoes and stuff from Trader Joe's. Then we use chicken broth, some chili stuff, onion, celery, brown the meat beforehand, sour cream to top it. It's just like so easy. That's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna get it started. A little story time, Winnie went to daycare this past weekend and stayed overnight for the first time. That was like her first time being like boarded, I guess you could call it but it's like a nice place. It's like they play all day and then she just goes in a kennel at night because I was out of town and obviously Dylan was too for the game. And since she's been back, she's been so weird. And all yesterday she was just sleeping on the couch, like wouldn't even eat, wouldn't even do anything. And we were just kind of like confused and we were like, oh, maybe she's just really tired from playing. Like she might've just had like a really good time, whatever. But last night in the middle of the night, she like, we woke up to her like going to the bathroom all over the carpet and then we obviously cleaned it up that night. We realized that she actually is sick. And then this morning I woke up to her throwing up. Dylan had left for football early and I woke up to the noise of her like throwing up. So I don't know what's going on. I just called the boarding place to make sure she didn't get any into anything. And they said that it might be because she had high stress levels when she was going to sleep that night. I think that she's so used to maybe like sleeping with us or sleeping in the bed. I don't really know because she used to be crate trained. And like she'll still go in the kennel if I put her in, but I don't know if she was just uncomfortable or anxious or scared at the boarding place. But I'm confused because I took her like a few days ago and she had like the best time, like she loved it. So I don't know what's going on, but Winnie is not feeling the best. She's like laying 
on our sheets in the room and I cleaned our sheets last night like I cleaned the apartment and stuff last night after we were done watching football and stuff and clean the sheets and everything and then she like threw up on them so I have to do that today and all that thought I would just vlog a real Monday in my life I feel so bad for her I know she's so sad it's okay I'm about to leave already packing come with me I'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out finish getting this all together oh the laundry's done do you want to go fold it this is the chili i leave the salt and pepper next to it just because i kind of try it every so often and I make sure the flavor is good but this is such an easy recipe i literally just throw it together all the time if you have a crock pot it's so good and if you're vegan or plant-based, you could always just leave out the meat and then instead of chicken broth, you can use vegetable broth. It's like basically the same thing. I like to normally have no meat in my chili, but Dylan obviously is eating with us tonight. <laughs> so we have meat in this one, but Winnie just ate a little bit. So I think that she's feeling better. I'm gonna get dressed and- I just kind of cleaned up the kitchen, did all the dishes. And now I'm going to get ready. I need to film this video. I've been stressed about it, honestly, because last time I tried to film it, the lighting was horrible. So I hope that that doesn't happen again. A few hours later, we've had a productive morning. I just finished filming. I need to clean this mess up. I also recently ordered this new tripod for my iPhone so I can... I can take my Instagram photos. Oh. But Dylan took them with me come today. Here. Thanks, Dylan. Yep, you're welcome. Winnie, come here. Winnie's Why is doing... she so difficult with this? I don't know. She like doesn't ever want it off. Hi, baby. Try the chili. It's pretty good. It's not done yet because the celery. No, I'm not very hungry. I'm about to go get coffee. <laughs> my head hurts. Why did you say it like that? Because my head hurts. Bye. Are you going to bring me a coffee? Been a whole lot there with that tries. Thank you. Love you. Yeah. <gasps> Hi. She did? Yeah. Wait, Dylan, come here. Dylan actually is getting better at taking my Instagram pictures, which is like actually makes me laugh. Busy doing content this morning. Busy Monday, but it's good. The thing is, is you're not supposed to try someone's coffee if it's not yours. Damn, you look good. It's not very good. Yes, it is. Did you not get it flavored? I got a vanilla iced latte. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to drink it, but it's just like stronger than I like. Yeah, that should have you water. Now I understand why their coffee machines are $26,000. Start to contemplate moments that went to